Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm starting my Week 5 previews and analysis with the analysis for the Thursday night game between the Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo Bills. This game will be played at Cleveland. Obviously a short turnaround for both teams who are coming off of very good wins uh, in Sunday on Week 4. The Bills at home uh, versus the Ravens and the Browns at home versus the division rival Bengals. And first with the Bills, you know, the Bills pull another one out at home, a game that wasn't very pretty. Uh, Might have been E.J. Manuel's worst game from a statistical standpoint in this one. They did get some contributions from Fred Jackson and C.J. Spiller um, before both were injured. Uh, you know, Spiller going for uh, rushing in the high 70s as far as yardage go goes. Fred Jackson in the high 80s. Both went down with injuries. Spiller with an ankle injury. Fred Jackson with an MCL injury. After the game, uh, you know, Jackson seemed more optimistic that he'd play. Spiller said that, you know, he'd try to do as much treatment as he could to get ready for the game. We'll see how those two and their injuries and their status unfolds throughout the week. But right now, both are optimistic that they will play. Uh, the, on the road here, though, is where they need to get some more contributions from E.J. Manuel. He had a very rough first road game uh, in, in Week 3 versus the Jets. Can he sort of bounce back? Can his receivers hold on to the football? You know, He targeted Stevie Johnson six times uh, on Sunday. Stevie only caught one of those balls. Uh, you know, that's part on E.J. Manuel, but Johnson did have a drop or two. You know, getting that consistency going on the road, I think, is key because the Browns' rush defense uh, is very good. So I think, again, a situation like with the Jets, good rush defense by the Browns. Manuel's going to have to make some throws uh, to beat the Browns. Can he do it? And uh, as far as the Bills' defense goes, look, the Browns are going to throw the ball. They haven't been able to run the ball or muster much on uh, from the running game, even when Trent Richardson was there. Uh, but with him gone now, they're really putting an emphasis on throwing the ball and throwing the ball more down the field. And can you know can Aaron Williams continue his good play uh, from the game against the Ravens, in which he played pretty well? Uh, can guys like Jim Leonard, Leonard keep on stepping up in the absence of some of the starters there? We'll see. But I think a lot of pressure will be put on that Bills secondary by you know, a Browns offense now. Uh, that is really predicated on passing the ball, like I said, taking some shots down the field. Josh Gordon you see emerging. Jordan Cameron against those Bills linebackers I think is going to be an interesting matchup to watch in this game as well. I really like the Browns' ability to defend the pass, which is why I don't really like E.J. Manuel in this game. I mean, the Browns have only given up um, two touchdown passes all season. They've given up zero in the last two games, including last week where they really confused uh, Cincinnati quarterback uh, Andy Dalton. So, you know, the way I figure it is this. This game is going to come down to the fact, can the Bills run the ball on the Browns, which I don't think they can, and can the Bills' secondary just absolutely stop Cleveland in its tracks on the road here? And I think the answer is no to that question as well. So I really like uh, Cleveland in this game, only because, again, you have a rookie quarterback going on the road again. Um, I don't know how healthy his running backs will be. Um, and... You know, I think he's going to need the aid of that running game, which he didn't get against the Jets, and I think it's going to be a lot of the same story here um, against Cleveland because I think Cleveland's defense may even be a, a tick better than the Jets because their secondary is better. But let me know what you guys think. I like the, the, the Cleveland Browns minus 3.5 in this game. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at Analysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview every game every week. I recap every game every week. And I'm always uh, looking to talk sports on here. And obviously with a very big focus on the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening. And have a great night.